Hi, Mr. Jones. My name is Vicki. I'm going to be your CNA today, and I'm here to give you uh, male peri care and change your soil brief. I'm going to gather my supplies, and I'll be right with you. I'm going to sanitize my hands. And I'm going to gather my equipment. I need a pair of gloves, a brief, a bag, and a pen. I need six washcloths, two, four, six, a waterproof pad, and I'm going to need a basin with comfortably warm water. I'm going to get, get my comfortably warm water from the warm water side. Make sure it's comfortably warm, not too hot. That's warm. I only need about three cups or so, two cups. All right, Mr. Jones, I'm here with my comfortably warm water. And we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull the privacy curtain. As far as a test observer tells me, I need to pull it. I'm going to raise the bed to comfortable working level. OK. All right, Mr. Jones, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to put my gloves on. I've already pulled the privacy curtain and sanitized my hands. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uncover you because so I have to get this done by uncovering you. May I have my test observer on the other side, please? Okay, I'm going to put the waterproof pad on so you can go ahead and hold them. Okay, come on back, Mr. Jones. Thank you, test observer. Come on back so I can finish unrolling this. Thank you, test observer. All right, Mr. Jones, we're going to go ahead and lift your gown up just above your waist here and remove your brief from top to bottom. And on the side. Lifting the hips. All right. I'm going to take my bag, put the soil brief in the bag, tying the bag with the dirty brief in it and putting it in the garbage can. We're going to use a washcloth and this is just plain water. We're not going to put soap in the water because we don't want soapy water. Okay, so you can use a four square method which is what we recommend at AMTI, half and then in quarters or you can use the mitt. The mitt is more difficult to use. That's why we recommend the the square method. So let's go back to the square method. All right, so I'm going to put soap on a clean portion of the washcloth for areas. One, two, three, and four. So I have soap on all my areas. Okay. So starting at the end of the penis in circular motion, using a clean portion of the washcloth for every stroke, circular motion. Peel back and get a clean portion of the washcloth again, um, starting from the shaft downward, and now another clean portion of the washcloth, shaft downward, and now your last portion of the washcloth, you 
clean the scrotum. Dispose of that. In the same method, we're going to do the rinse. Again, all you want is plain water. Wring your washcloth pretty well so it doesn't so it doesn't uh, leak all over the place. Same thing. Okay. In circular motion, from the end of the penis, circular, clean portion of the washcloth, rinse downward from the shaft downward, clean portion of the washcloth, shaft downward, and then clean portion of the washcloth, rinse the scrotum. Get rid of that washcloth. And then we take a clean washcloth and we just pat dry. No particular order for patting dry, just pat dry the area. Dispose of that. Okay, covering the mannequin, and I'm ready for my test observer on the other side of the bed. Okay, Mr. Jones, we're going to go ahead and turn you now. Thank you. Exposing the perineum, and the same order as in the back. Again, squared washcloth, wring it out well so it's not dripping all over the place. Clean portion of the washcloth for each stroke, so you want to get one area, soap again in each corner, soap again, and soap again. All right. Okay, so starting from the scrotum away. One, Two, clean portion of the washcloth for every stroke, three, and four. Doesn't say how many, just says for each stroke, clean portion of the washcloth. We just say just do all the corners, all four corners. In the same fashion, you're going to rinse. Again, wringing out your washcloth well. Clean portion of the washcloth for every stroke. Starting at the scrotum backwards. One, two, three, and four. No particular order, just from the scrotum backwards, four stroke, using a clean portion of the washcloth for every stroke. And lastly, we pat dry. No particular order, just pat dry. Okay. Now I'm going to take my new brief, I'm going to date it, and time it, and my initials, 02, 15, 16, it's 10 a.m., and my initials. Remove the waterproof pad first. Size up the brief. Thank you, test observer. All right, Mr. Jones, come on over towards me. We're almost done. Contain the soilage, put it in the laundry basket. Finish putting on the brief. Fasten it on both sides. All right, Mr. Jones, you've done well. We're almost done. And we cover him up. The name, the date, the initials, the date, and the time are written on the brief. It doesn't matter where it's applied on the brief as long as it is written on the brief. I'm going to cover up Mr. Jones. All right, Mr. Jones, we're going to lower the bed and I'm going to get rid of my supplies and wash my hands. Okay.
Here's your call light and water within reach and I will be back after I cleanse my container. Dispose the water, rinse it, just rinse with water, it doesn't require washing it with soap or anything, it's just a rinse. Dry it thoroughly with a paper towel is fine. Remove my gloves. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands now that I emptied, rinsed, and dried my bucket. If I'm wearing a watch, I need to remove the watch or raise it up high enough so that I can have access to both my wrists because that's part of the hand washing skill. Turn on the water, wet my hands, it doesn't have to be hot water, it doesn't have to be warm, either one will be fine. Grab some soap, generous amount, fingers pointed downward and interlacing the fingers and 20 seconds. It's a real 20 seconds at least is the hand washing time. You can wash more than 20 seconds, but 20 seconds is the minimum. You can count 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, or twinkle, twinkle, little star times 2, or the alphabet, you can say the alphabet, but it's 20 seconds. Scrubbing the palms on both sides, interlacing the fingers. Washing the wrists, and that's 20 seconds there. Rinsing, there's no particular order for rinsing. You just rinse, making sure not to touch the inside of the sink or recontaminate your hands. Okay, now I'm going to dry. I know that it's difficult to leave the water running, but you have to leave the water run until you're ready to close it correctly. Drying the hands. And now with a clean, dry paper towel, that's important, has to be a clean, dry paper towel. And I dispose of that paper towel in the trash. I don't use it to dry the countertop or open the door or anything else. I just, just dispose of it. I come back to Mr. Jones. I am done. And I've already left you with your call light and water. Can I get you anything else? No? Okay. We'll call if you need anything. I put away my supplies. Task completed.